Natural light and a connection with the outdoors. They're common across the health sector, in hospitals, in clinics, in mental health facilities, and in care homes for the elderly. This is because doctors and nurses know that healing is enhanced by environments that mirror nature, thus making people feel calm and safe. Good acoustic works the same way, and that's especially important here, not least because more than half the patients are over 60. Two out of three people between 60 and 70 have reduced hearing. Some hospitals and care homes have taken acoustics seriously because they know noise can be incredibly damaging to patients and residents. Patients find it hard to fall asleep in noisy hospitals. And it's obviously not easy to get quality sleep when a lot of noise tells their subconscious they're in danger. They get stressed and confused. Their blood pressure rises and their recovery slows. Understanding what people are saying is also difficult when bleeping sounds and distant conversations bounce around between hard floors, ceilings and walls. And not being able to understand speech leads to withdrawal, self-doubt and depression. The noise can be bad for hospital staff too. They make more mistakes. For instance, when dispensing medicine, misunderstandings arise when staff communicate with patients or with each other. Or their own health suffers and they take more sick leave. As such, bad acoustics is expensive in both human and economic terms. When given a choice, patients and residents will steer clear of hospitals and care homes where they don't feel good and instead go where they feel included and well cared for. Hospitals and care homes that take acoustic planning seriously benefit, and so do their patients and residents.